Hey, YouTube fans, how you doing today? So, 09 Ram uh, was doing an intake manifold gasket repair. Um, and I had to buy me a new injector for my rail. Uh, I saw one of them was leaking, and it was actually... It was more than just a leak. I had I had one that split open and cracked on me. So I had to buy one. And then... I might, so I went ahead and... Uh, purchased some new O-rings. I'm going to stick on here. Um, so the problem that I was faced with... Was uh, opening the circuit in the injector. You know, I could... Use jumper wires or... I could cut off a... Wiring harness and hook it up to there and you know, supply the wires with 12 volts of electricity and find a battery and all that good garbage. Um, or, you know, if you got an old computer laying around um, and you don't have any use for the hard drive anymore, tear that son of a bitch open and get these neodymium magnets out of there. Neodymium magnets, rare earth magnets. So you can get these out of computers and stuff. Um... But I wanted to show you. Um, let me set my camera up real quick so that I can show you how I can how I open the circuit on these guys. Uh, give me one second. Sorry about the shakiness. Okay, you got your injector, your neodymium magnet, and I'm just gonna stick it on here and listen for a click. And be careful; these these things are pretty strong, man. They they'll get pulled out of your hand pretty quick. So, I clicked it, and I didn't hear anything, so I'm going to move it back and forth until I get a click. I don't know if you hear that clicking noise right there. So, as I'm pulling it back, and that's open. So, now the circuit is open. So what I'm going to do next is I took my can of jet spray and a piece of hose. And what I did is I took a uh, the cap to a bicycle tire. You know, I just I one of the the front tire I robbed. I robbed the little cap off the tire, stuck it in there, drilled a hole in it. And then stuck this hose through here, through the hose, uh, through the hole in the cap. And then just freaking use some um, hot glue to seal it up real quick. Push it down in there and seal it up. So what I got is, uh, what I have, again, sorry about the video, the sloppiness of the video. I don't have anybody to hold the camera for me or anything today. So, but what, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to. Put this injector in this tube fits over that end nicely boom my circuits open so what I got my trash can oh the circuit must have closed on me you see how that worked the uh, the pressure blew it off the end <laughs> so let me fix that real quick Yeah, I better do a better job of gluing that back in there. It, it's highly pressurized, folks. So let me let me uh, fix this up again. Make sure it's clicking, cause and make sure the circuit's open. There we go. We heard that click. That's open. So sometimes you hooking up these hoses and whatnot to these, hooking up the hoses to these, and they pop off there like that because they the circuit closes on you, but. I spray some gum out through there. A little bit of leakage at the top, but just wear your uh, safety glasses, folks. You know, you'll be safe. So go ahead and run some of that through there. And that's clean, man. And you don't have to spend all day freaking messing with electricity. See you later.